fractions. Part 2, we're going to look at ordering fractions. So what does ordering fractions mean? Well, it means putting a series of fractions, as you see here, into increasing or decreasing order. And they may use the term, more likely to use the term, ascending for increasing and descending for decreasing. So over here in these four fractions, we see um, two over four, uh, one over four, four over four, three over four. And you should notice that all of them have the same denominator, which makes the ordering of these relatively easy. So what we can do is, because all of these are the same, we can order these in increasing order by looking at the numerator. So the lowest one here is one. So in ascending order, it's a quarter. And then two over four comes next. Because two over four is greater than one over four. Three quarters, three over four. And then four over four. So at each step, there's an increase in the value. So that makes it quite, quite easy. However, it's uh, quite rare uh, when you're ordering fractions that they all have the same denominator. So what happens in the case of different denominators? So that's what we're going to look at next. And for that, we need to use this term, which is called a common multiple. So when we look at these two fractions, there's a half and two thirds. And you notice that the denominator of each of these is different. So what we need to do is to make them the same. And the way that you do this is that you look for multiples. Like multiples of two is just two plus two plus two. Multiples of three is three plus three plus three. And you'll see where the number that they produce coincide. So in a working out area, let's have our working out area here. The multiples of two are two, four, six, eight, etc. The multiples of three are three, six, nine. So each time just adding another three. And we don't have to go that far to find out that actually these numbers are common multiples. So for two, it's one, two, three. So if we multiply two by three, we get six. And if we multiply three by one, two, two, we get six. So here we go. We can, there's a half. And if we multiply the bottom by three, and we multiply the top by three, then this becomes three over six. And for two, two thirds, let's use another color, as things get a little bit crowded here. So for two thirds, it'll be two thirds. You multiply the bottom by two, because it's one, two. Multiply whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So two twos are four. Two threes are six. So now 
These are, have common denominators. So 3 over 6 and 4 over 6. Now, which is the bigger? Well, we look at this number, we look at the numerator, and we think, oh, 3 and that's 4. Therefore, this is the order, 3 over 6 and then 4 over 6. And then what you can do is you can translate them back into their original numbers. So we can say this is a half. And a half is less than two thirds. So in fact, this is the order ascending. So give me a second and I'm going to just get rid of all of this in order to make a bit of space because we're going to tackle this question below, which is a, an exam question. So it's, um, it's a test question. And we have all these fractions, a half, two thirds, seven twelfths, five sixths, and one quarter. And the question is asking us to put this into ascending order. And so that means from the lowest value to the highest value. So the thing here is that, can you see all these denominators are different? So we're going to use the same technique as we used before. And in our rough working area, which is here, we're going to find multiples of 2, 3, 12, 6 and 4. Now, hopefully, you should be able to spot the common multiple um, without having to do this, but uh, we're going to go through the motions so you can see how it's worked out. So what are the multiples of 2? So there's 2, 4, each time I'm adding 2, 6, 8, 10, 12. I should have given myself a little bit more space. What are the common multiples of 3? So 3, 6, 9, oh, 12. So this is a common multiple of, um, of 2 and 3. 6 is also a common multiple. So let's do that of 12. So 12... 24, but we don't need to carry on because here there's 12, there there's 12, and there there's 12. So I think we're, we're on to 12 being a really good candidate, but let's carry on. Um, so what are the multiples of 6? Six? 6, 12. So what I'm doing is for the multiples, just adding the number back to itself. So I think there is a really um, strong candidate here, but let's finish it for 4. So 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 4 is 12. So I think we're in luck. So 12, 12, 12, 12. So this is a common multiple. So even though 6 was a good candidate yeah, and it was shared with that, 6 wasn't shared with the others. So we want to find something that's shared with them all. So the next thing we need to do is to convert all of the denominators into the same value, which is 12. So a half, in order to, multi in order to make a 12 down at the bottom, we have to multiply 2 by 1, 2, 3, four, five, six. Okay, so six times two is 12. So we multiply the bottom by six. We've got to multiply the top by six. So six ones are six. How about this one? So three in this case, so one, two, three, four. 
In order to make 12, we need to multiply 3 by 4. So 3 fours are 12. What am I doing? 3 fours are 12. And whatever we do to the bottom, we do to the, to the top. So we multiply that by 3. 3 twos. Sorry. 4 twos are 8. So... Three, four, four twos are eight. Um, this we don't have to do anything with because this has 12 already. Now six. What do we multiply six by to get 12? Well, it's obviously two. So two times six is 12. We then need to multiply the top by two as well. So five times two is 10. And then finally, 4. How, how many times do we have to multiply 4 to make 12? 1, 2, 3 times. So 3 fours are 12. And the same number 3 uh, that we multiply 4 by, we need to multiply the 1. So 3 ones are 3. So now, these are exactly the same numbers down here, except that they all have a common denominator. So now we can order them. So we can see that 3 over 12 is the smallest. And then comes 6 out of 12. 7 out of 12. See how easy it is? 8 out of 12. And then finally 10 out of 12. And what you could do is that you could leave it in this order. And this is absolutely correct order. But the question actually asks you to order these fractions. So we have to change these back into these fractions. And that's dead simple because um, we've actually lined them up here. So it's no problem at all. So 3 over 12, which is 3 over 12, is this one. So this is a quarter. 6 out of 12, 6 out of 12 is this one. So this is a half. 7 out of 12 is unchanged. That's this one here. 8 out of 12 is 2 thirds. Finally, 10 out of 12 is 5 sixths. So we've answered the question. We put these fractions in ascending order um, where each is larger than, than the other.